Atri Academy. Today we will study about rational numbers. First chapter, eighth class. So in the series of learning, let us learn together. First, we uh, cover the topics. First is natural number. Second, whole number. Third is rational number. Fourth, properties on rational number, which are the first property is closure property. Second is commutative property. Third is associative property. Fourth is distributive property. Next, additive inverse, multiplicative inverse, identity, uh, uh, additive identity and multiplicative identity. First, we will study about what are natural number. Natural number. You can say that natural number are the counting number start from 1. Natural number start from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Are the natural numbers. The number which start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are natural number. Next are whole number. What are whole numbers? The number start from 0. Start from 0. First is 0. Next 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are the whole numbers. The number, the number we start from 0 and 1, 2, 3 up to so on are whole numbers. The in whole numbers may आपके पास जीरो है ये एक्स्ट्रा है अदरवाइज सारे के सारे क्या आपके पास नेचुरल नंबर है तो यू कैन से दैट होल नंबर्स आर जीरो एंड ऑल नेचुरल नंबर्स ठीक है नेक्स्ट इसमें हम डिस्कस करते हैं कि ऑल नेचुरल नंबर आर होल नंबर यहां पे आपके पास टू यू कैन से दैट टू प्रॉपर्टीज हैं ऑल नेचुरल नंबर आर Whole number Next is All whole number Are Natural number Which one is true? All natural number Are Whole number. Yes. This is true. This is true. Next is all whole numbers are natural number. No. In natural number, zero is not here. So in natural number may zero include nahi hai. So aap ye nahi bol sakte. All the natural numbers are Oh, sorry, aap ye nahi bol sakte. All the whole numbers are natural number. You can say that all natural number are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not a natural number. Next is rational number. What are rational number? Rational numbers which are in the form of P upon Q. The numbers which are in the form of P upon Q. Where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. P and Q are integers. Aapke paas do number यहाँ पे P and Q are two integers. P और Q यहाँ पे क्या है? Two integers हैं. और P and Q को हम P upon Q means fraction की form में अगर आप लिख देते हो कि P upon Q तो ये आपके पास क्या जाएगा? Rational number. और इसमें condition आपके पास तो condition क्या है कि Q never be equal to zero. Why Q is never be equal to zero? 
Because, because if you put q is equal to 0, means something you can write p upon 0 which is not defined. Something upon 0 is never be defined. So, in the uh, rational number, in the form of p upon q, q never be equal to 0 and both p and q are integers. Okay. Next, we uh, discuss the properties of rational number. The first property is closure property. First one is तो हम जितनी भी ये properties हैं, हम इसमें four mathematical जो operations होते हैं, अपने basic operations, addition, subtraction, next is multiplication, and last is division. इन पे डिस्कस करेंगे। फर्स्ट हम क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी डिस्कस करेंगे ऑन एडिशन। ऑन एडिशन इफ वी एड ए एंड बी आर टू रेशनल नंबर। ए एंड बी आर टू रेशनल नंबर। इफ वी एड टू रेशनल नंबर एंड द रिजल्टेंट इज आल्सो ए रेशनल नंबर। यू कैन राइट ए प्लस बी we have a and b both are rational number then their sum is also a rational number then this property will hold let us take the example example is first rational number is 1 by 2 and second is 1 by 3 if we add these two rational number, then what we get? We get 6 will be LCM. 3 plus 2. We get 5 by 6. Is 5 by 6 is a rational number? Yes, 5 by 6 is a rational number. So we can say that closer property will hold on addition. Next we discuss subtraction. अब हम डिस्कस करेंगे कि आपकी सब्ट्रैक्शन पे क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी होल्ड होती है या नहीं अब हमने टू रैशनल नंबर ले लिए फर्स्ट इज 1/2 एंड सेकंड इज 1/5 एलसीएम इज 10 5 2 व्हिच इज व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 3/10 इज 3/10 इज अ रैशनल नंबर यस ऑफ कोर्स 3 by 10 is a rational number. So we can say that closure property will hold on subtraction also. Okay. Next we discuss multiplication. If we multiply two rational number, then we get a rational number. Let us check. First rational number is 1 by 3. And uh, second rational number 1 by 7. If we multiply two rational number, 1 by 3 multiply 1 by 7. The result is 1 by 21. 1 by 21 is a rational number. Yes, 1 by 21 is also a rational number. So we can say that the closer property will hold on multiplication also. Last is division. We check closer property will hold on division or no. Suppose to rational number a by b and c by d. If we division, if we divide two rational number means a upon b divided by c upon d. What we get? Let us take example. 2 by 3 is divided by 3 by 4. In this case, we get 2 by 3 divide so multiply by 4 by 3. 8 by 9. 8 by 9 is also a rational number. But if we take 2 by 3 is divided by 0. Then what we get? 2 by 3 multiply 1 upon 0. And 1 upon 0 
is infinity. One upon zero. One upon zero is infinity. Means not defined. Means not defined. So what we get? We get, uh, we get the result as not defined. So यहाँ से हमारे पास क्या result निकला? कि division में हमारी closure property hold होती है, लेकिन इस case में होती है. अगर यहाँ पे c upon d, c upon d is not equal to zero है, उस case में हमारे पास क्या होगी closure property hold होगी और अगर यहाँ पे हमारा c upon d is equal to zero है उस case में हमारी closure property hold नहीं होगी okay next we discuss second property and the second property is commutative property Commutative property means A plus B is equal to B plus A. Commutative property में हमारे पास A plus B is equal to B plus A आ जाए, उस केस में हम बोलेंगे कि क्या है ये? Commutative property है. और commutative property में हमने क्या लिया? दो number लिए, और उनका क्या कर दिया? Sum कर दिया. तो सम गया तो दोनों इक्वल आए यहां पे चेंज क्या हुआ नंबर चेंज नहीं हुए आपके पास नंबर का ऑर्डर चेंज हो गया यहां पे क्या है a प्लस b है आपकी लेफ्ट साइड में a प्लस b है और राइट right साइड में क्या है b प्लस a है तो यहां पे नंबर बोथ नंबर आर सेम बट देयर ऑर्डर इज चेंज सो वी कैन से दैट दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज एज ए ऑर्डर प्रॉपर्टी इस प्रॉपर्टी को हम क्या बोलते हैं ऑर्डर प्रॉपर्टी भी बोलते हैं अब हम इस प्रॉपर्टी को अपने रैशनल नंबर पे सेटिस्फाई करके देखते हैं कि कॉम्यूटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी हमारे कौन-कौन से मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशंस के लिए होल्ड होती है तो हमारे मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन कौन से हैं फर्स्ट इज एडिशन सेकंड इज सबट्रैक्शन नेक्स्ट इज मल्टीप्लिकेशन एंड लास्ट इज डिवीजन फर्स्ट वी चेक कॉम्यूटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी विल होल्ड ऑन एडिशन और नो वी टेक टू रैशनल नंबर सपोज 1/2 एंड 1/3 आर टू रैशनल नंबर इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी ऐड 1/2 प्लस 1 by 3. What we get? Take 6 as LCM. 3 plus 2. We get 5 by 6. This is left hand side A plus B. The right hand side is B plus A. Means right hand side B means 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. 2 plus 3. We get 5 by 6. Both sides are equal. So we can say that commutative property will hold on addition. Next we check commutative property will hold on subtraction or no. In subtraction A minus B will be equal to B minus A. We take two rational number 5 by 6 and 1 by 6. यहाँ पे हमने दोनों के डिनोमिनेटर सेम लिए हैं ताकि हमारे पास मल्टीप्लिकेशन क्या हो जाए इजी हो जाए तो कॉन्सेप्ट को समझने के लिए हमने सेम लिए हैं तो अब हम चेक कर रहे हैं a minus b a minus b means five by six minus one by six six as LCM five minus one one we get four by six right ये होंगे हमारे पास लेफ्ट हैंड साइड फिर हम डिस्कस करेंगे राइट हैंड साइड इन राइट हैंड साइड b मींस 1 by 6 minus 5 by 6 वी कैलकुलेट 1 minus 5 वी गेट minus 4 by 6 लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज नॉट इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड सो वी कैन से दैट कॉम्यूटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी विल नॉट होल्ड ऑन सबट्रैक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट वी चेक Commutative property will hold on multiplication or no. We get two rational number 
a by b and c by b. C by b. Multiply. We multiply these two rational number a by b multiply by c by d, which is equal to c by d multiply by a upon b. Okay. For this, uh, for its checking, we take two rational number two by five and one by five. Multiply two rational number on for left hand side. Two by five is multiplied with one by five. Two one ja two five five ja twenty five. We get two upon twenty five. For right hand side, C D means one by five is multiplied with two by five. One two ja two and five five ja twenty five. We get left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, commutative property also holds on multiplication. Next we discuss on division also. On division, we take two rational number a upon b divided by C upon D, which will be equal to C upon D divided by A upon B. अगर left hand side is equal to right hand side आ जाएगी आपके पास, तो आप कहोगे कि commutative property on division will hold. Otherwise, it will not hold. So let us check for left hand side. We take two rational number. Suppose two by five. Is divided by same example one by five. Two by five multiply with five by one. What we get? We get two by one on left hand side. For right hand side, C by D means one by five is divided by two by five. One by five. Is multiplied by five by two. Five five ja one by two. On left hand side we get two, and on right hand side we get one by two. So left hand side is not equal to right hand side. So we can say that commutative property on division will not hold. Next is.